morning. Lovely day today. And uh, we're out in the Goit Valley. I've had a change of mind already. I was going to show you a walk uh, starting near Taxel and going up to Windgather Rocks and back down to Irwood Reservoir and around. But uh, purely because it's such a lovely day, I've had a change of mind and we're starting down at Irwood Reservoir uh, going up past Irwood Hall and uh, along the path from uh, Cat's Tour to Shining Tour and then back down Shooter's Clough. Uh, so uh, yeah, really nice walk and yeah, the reason for the change of mind is with it being such a lovely day, uh, it's not often you get a, a chance to have such great views from uh, Shining Tour. Most of the time when you go up there it's uh, grey and misty and I've uh, been up there in the snow and uh, you, you can barely see the hand in front of your face so uh, I thought it would be a, a good opportunity to get up there and admire the views. So stick with me and uh, see what we come across. Yeah, wood reservoir. Starting to head up away from Irwood Reservoir now, uh, up into the grounds of the ruins of Irwood Hall. Like it's going to be a hot day, so I'm just going to take my time, no rush. Lovely shady woodland path through the grounds. Near the uh, there's the stream below. Not much breeze at the moment, but it's uh, supposed to be getting up later. I think in uh, Northern Ireland today it was forecast as gusts of up to 100 miles an hour. That should be fun when we go up onto uh, Shining Tour. And soon up to the ruins of Irwood Hall. Just have a quick look around. Again, see the footprint of all the the rooms. It's the family seat of the Grimshaw family, and I think it fell into disuse when uh, they flooded the valley for the reservoir. They had a beautiful place to live, that's for certain. All these uh, gardens and waterfalls and surroundings great
as you can see, beautiful day. Come away from Irwood Hall and just head up the path, following a sign for Pym Chair. Obviously not the Pym Chair on Kinder Scout. There's another one. How gorgeous is that? Also circling. A bit of sunshine transforms this walk, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous anyway, but uh, yeah, and a nice day. Certainly transformed me into a sweaty mask coming up that hill from uh, Irwood Hall. Beautiful colours up here in autumn. There's a lot, of, although there's a lot of conifers that are evergreens. There's also uh, a lot of deciduous trees in, in the woodland here, so you get a fantastic mix of reds and greens. I believe there was a a little coal mine up here that served the needs of the Grimshaw Estate and uh, Irwood Hall and this is the ruins of the the manager's cottage. There's also a little chapel up here that's quite m mysterious and uh, worth inspecting. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find it and take you down. It's not difficult, it's just off the path actually. There you go, look at that. Complete with wonky windows. And the door opens and it's still actually a you know little shrine with ornaments and with a little visitor's book. Kneeling, kneeling uh, bench. See the angle of the window now because the uh, the camera is straight and the cross is straight. The window ain't. Just after the chapel, the road climbs up and uh, uh, sorry, the path climbs up, joins the road that comes up from uh, Irwood Reservoir. And you can cross that road and you don't have to walk actually on the road itself there's a, a path on the far side you can just cross over that just uh, shadows the road up to pim chair and as you climb up you can see along the ridge that we're going to be taking shortly to cat's tour and shining tour and then we'll drop down behind that down shooter's clough. All being well. If any of you saw my video, uh, a couple of videos back, a recent one, uh, of a walk around Coombs Moss on the skyline there, you can see Coombs Moss. And uh, yeah, the views of, from, from that side would have been over. I did say, uh, did point out. Cat's Tour and Shining Tour at one point. Came up here uh, just after bonfire night, I think. It was, I think it might have just been last year. And this little lay-by and the grassland in there 
was just absolutely littered with dud fireworks and empty, you know, spent fireworks, firework boxes, all manner of crap. Can you just countenance the mentality of people who would do that? It's beyond me. Remember folks, leave no trace. I suspect the people who did that though are probably beyond our reach. Beautiful view out over the moorland now. It's just a bit of a glimpse of uh, Windgather Rocks just at the edge there which was uh, where we were going to be going on the walk today before I changed my mind. But I'll bring you on that one again another time. Slightly better view of uh, Coombs Moss now. And you can see Castle Naves about there, where the hill fort is. And uh, Bit to the left, I think, would be South Head, and beyond that is uh, up onto Kinder. Sorry about the camera shake, the wind's getting up. It actually, seems to be blowing from in the southeast, which is quite unusual for up here. Normally, uh, coming in from the west and blasting you up the edge across, you know, Shining Tor and from kind of Mac Forest direction. At least when I've been up here previously. So you can see uh, across to Windgather Rocks there in the centre. A bit better now, just to the right of that post. And this is where the path would have come out if we'd have been doing that walk, so Watch this space folks, oh, crossing over the road again at this point, you can see the uh, pathway marker for uh, Cat's Tour and Shining Tour, and we're going to take that one. That's the uh, car park up at Pimchair, starting to get a view out over Cheshire Plain. Port of Call, Cat's Tour. Uh, to the right of that, you're looking over towards Macclesfield Forest. Looking back the way we've come, might not be a great picture because we're shooting into the sun, uh, but you can see the, the woodland that we climbed up behind and uh, the, the patch of land rising up behind that is uh, Foxlow Edge, I think. As you uh, get over the summit of Cat's Tour, then the view to Shining Tour opens up in front of you. And just to the right of that, Shortlings Low. creeping across the land. Once you passed Cat's Tour, most of the uh, footpath's been paved to stop erosion. And uh, drops down eventually, it starts rising up to Shining Tour. There we are, Shining Tour. That has to be done.
time for lunch and uh, that looks like a nice spot right on the edge so I'll uh, see if I can grab a perch there Forgot my little tripod so can't do me obligatory butty shot otherwise it'll blow away <laughs> what, a, what a view though not a bad little lunch spot just check with the compass and the wind's coming directly from the south not so much southeast as I said before pretty strong though Turning left at the trig point, just head down the path. Just to the right, you can see uh, the old Cat and Fiddle pub. And beyond that, Axe Edgemore. And uh, yeah, we we'll just head down here and pick up the uh, path to the left for Shooter's Clough. You can see the wall already where you turn left. Left to Irwood, down Shooter's Clough. That's just looking back the way we've, we've come down from uh, Shining Tor. And whether you can hear me or not, I'm not sure, but that's the view back over Coombs Moss and on towards Kinder Scout in the distance. And as you can see, what a lovely day. Herewood Reservoir just comes back into view then, then as you drop down the path. It's quite low at the moment. Mid-August. back over to Foxlow Edge which kind of borders on the far side of the valley where Burwood Hall is okay after following the wall down for about a kilometer or so uh, you've got a choice at this point you can either drop down into Shooter's Clough and that goes through the grounds of Irwood Hall again it's a really lovely walk but the, the paths sometimes turn into streams, so make sure you've got waterproof footwear on. Or you can just follow the path straight on down to Wirwood. And today I think that's what I'm going to do. Last week I was up on the top of there on Coombs Moss. Kind of great to think how close everything is and how linked together a lot of these walks are and camps and but then just how much open spaces we've got on our, our doorstep here in the northwest. Don't know whether any of you saw my uh, video a few weeks back of my first wild camp for 42 years. Well, 42 years ago, roughly, just on the other bank of the Irwood Reservoir, where it narrows, probably 100 yards further up, actually, you can't really see it from here. That's where I did my uh, last wild camp with uh, a mate of mine called Tim Green, 
uh, no relation and the uh, we were just in bivvies that were like plastic bags then they didn't even call it wild camping and the ranger came by in his uh, four-wheel drive and stopped shouted across to us making sure we weren't carrying any fishing gear we assured him we weren't then as the uh, as the sun set or whatever you could see all the trout swimming right up the uh, to the head of the reservoir turning round and going back we were both cursing that we hadn't brought any fishing gear but yeah it was down here you wouldn't mind camp down here now it's uh, a little bit too busy I don't think the rangers will let you get away with it these days either right let's try and take you through where we've been uh, parked up down here Herwood Reservoir walked along the side of the reservoir over the little bridge to the next car park could park there I guess but uh, parked at the first one turned up through Herwood Hall and then along the path up this valley that chapel's about there and then came out on the road followed the road up to Pimchair and take a left along the path to Cat's Tor and then continued along to Shining Tor Shining Tor which is there 559 five, meters and then drop down the path this, there and took a left and all the way down back to the beginning again down here in total about six and a half miles I guess so as you can see the weather's been beautiful and a lovely walk thanks as ever for joining me and if you'd like to see more walks and camping and other such videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, it will remind you when uh, uh, some more videos are up and uh, it doesn't cost anything if you've enjoyed this video if you hit the thumbs up button uh, it does the channel a world of good so thanks again for joining me and i'll see you very soon